Okay. Uh, this is another good time. We are going to discuss uh, matters about immunology. And today's focus is focusing on autoimmune. On autoimmune, that is a problem where the body is unable that protect itself from the immune. So autoimmune uh, affect around five to seven fish, uh, people in adult affected. Two thousand are women, and most of the people, uh, more than more than four million people, um, uh, have autoimmune uh, diseases in the uh, common. So autoimmune uh, can be either due to genetic factor, can be due to uh, environmental factor, and also can be due to immuno regulation issues. All these three things can cause autoimmune. So there are two types of autoimmune diseases. There is autoimmune diseases which are organ specific related, and there is autoimmune diseases which are non organ specific related, which are non organ specific related. Now, in this case, you see that, uh, like in the brain, the, the, there is those. Uh, specific related like multiple sclerosis in the brain. Thyroid is like asthmatos thyroiditis, like primary myxoidema in the thyroid and also uh, 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 and also in the stomach we have panisias anemia and renal gland we have Anderson's disease and pancreas we have insulin dependence and diabetes mellitus. On the muscles you have dermatomyositis and also kidney you have systemic lupus erythromatosis. In the skin you have scleroderma and systemic lupus erythematosus. In the joint, you have arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. Now, uh, let's see this spectrum of uh, autoimmune from uh, uh, um, organic specific to non-organic specific. So like asthmot uh, thyroiditis, primary um, thyroiditis, uh, and then uh, panisias anemia, autoimmune, atropic gastritis, Anderson's disease, Premature menopause, uh, 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 and uh, menopause in very common uh, few people, and also insulin dependence type of diabetes, stiff man syndrome, good patch syndrome, uh, mesthenia and glavis, male infertility, peptigas, vargas, peptigoid, symptomatic oblamia, pagogenic ovitis, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Idiopathic thrombocytopenia papula, idiopathic leukopenia, primary bilial cirrhosis, active uh, chronic hepatitis, we have uh, sacryptogenic uh, cirrhosis, and ulcerative colitis, we have atherosclerosis, which is uh, also, also we have uh, Jones syndrome, rheumatoid arthritis and dermatocytosis and sclerosis, mixed connective tissue diseases, anti uh, postpolypin syndrome and discoid lupus erythromatosis and system uh, uh, lupus erythromatosis. That is from the organ specific, the non organ specific. Uh, now, autoimmune uh, in left handed people, they are more commonly affected by autoimmune diseases. 11% uh, of the left handed and 84% and, uh, of the right handed people. Reason for this is not obscure, but it is somehow related in abnormal endocrine and during a fetal life. So, the effect of autoimmune is that there is one tissue destruction. For example, in diabetes, there is a destruction of insulin producing beta cells. There is a number two antibody block on normal functions like in Mestinia gravis. That is antibody uh, uh, binding acetylcholine receptors. They bind on the acetylcholine, blocking the normal functioning. Then also another way where the effect can occur is antibody stimulating inappropriate functioning, like Graves syndrome, where the antibody binds to uh, thyroid stimulating hormone receptors, mimicking thyroid stimulating hormones, activates like, and regulated thyroid hormone production. Number four, there is antigen antibody complexes affecting functions of rheumatoid arthritis, then we have immunoglobulin M specific for FC portion of the immunoglobulin. And also immunoglobulin M and G complexes deposit in the joint causing inflammation. So that is what is uh, this. There are four effect. That is tissue destruction, antibody blocking the normal functioning, antibody stimulating inappropriate functioning, and also antigen antibodies um, uh, complexing affecting uh, the functions and also immunoglobulin uh, uh, and also immunoglobulin IgG like is another example. So 
causes of autoimmune is really is uh, 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 number one the cause related with the release of subsequent and immunoglobin is like smoking uh, uh, can trigger and good parts of syndrome and your abysmal membrane are normally not exposed to the immune system and smoking damages argura exposes collagen then the antigen collagen and uh, uh, body damages the lung and the kidney in anti-spam abnormal uh, uh, abnorm produced in some men uh, after vasectomy then uh, also there is injection of merit basic protein produced by ms like eee -E -E -E. and also in mice may be triggered by injuries or infections now causes of autoimmune is like autoimmune stimulations is another cause that is cause number two like microbial infections stimulating antigen presenting uh, 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 cells carrying self antigen higher level of antigen presenting cells the second signal of big uh, energy uh, now you can see that um, the autoimmune uh, follows three pathways when uh, in the in the in the way it works. Like for example, there is this release of uh, a sequestrated uh, antigen uh, in the body. Then uh, it is attached by T alpha cells. Then uh, this one also with the, with the presence of uh, multiple human uh, complex expression on an uh, antigen it is expressed on the antigen uh, presenting uh, uh, cells the the uh, mch that is human uh, uh, that is a multiple human uh, complex and also antigen uh, uh, presenting cells uh, cross uh, casting with the uh, antigen uh, this one results to uh, the the, the t-herpa cells becoming activated when this t-herpa becomes activated um then it can follow three pathways. It can follow the pathway where the where the the, the T herpa cells uh, 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 the T herpa cells activate and T herpa cells now activate the macrophages and these macrophages causes inflammation and rocco uh, 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 inflammation uh, at the point of uh, direct uh, at the point of that resulting to uh, tissue damage. It can also the other follow uh, another pathway where that it is stimulated the intrinsic pathways of inflammation, where uh, uh, the T herpa cells uh, stimulate uh, um, uh, uh, attacks the endothelium, resulting to endothelium uh, uh, IFNY that is gamma uh, gamma gamma uh, interferon. Why then uh, also it can also induce uh, like prostaglandins endothelium, which these ones. The T herpa cells now uh, stimulate what we call classical two of uh, multiple human uh, complexes. Uh, then uh, they can also result in the, the T herpa cells, the, 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 the cytokines, the cytokines, uh, uh, cytokine two, and which can lead to uh, stimulating of uh, T uh, cytotoxic cells. And these T cytotoxic cells uh, can cause uh, tissue damage. The other part of it is that. The T herpa cells can activate B cells. Then the B cells activated, they produce a plasma cells, and this plasma cells uh, causes antibody to self antigen, resulting to tissue and damage. Those are the three pathways how auto um, um, immune uh, comes about. So, uh, 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 so there is an uh, antibody. Uh, antigen released from the uh, from the model local, then antigen is generated by molecular change, change, molecular mimic alteration in antibody processing, infection, genetic uh, factors. All these ones are the mechanism of uh, production. So uh, the mechanism also is there is also lipocyte abnormalities, theory of the central tolerance over, overcome by peripheral tolerance and polychromo lipocyte activation. So uh, antigen uh, related from uh, uh, iron uh, allocations. Like many CF antigen are found in any location, like CNS, testis, eyes. So the organ is damaged, antigen, and then uh, immunoglobulin uh, antigen is released. This, this is the bloodstream and encountered antigen sensitive cells resulting to uh, self stimulation. So antigen written by molecular changes is developed by complex new epitons on, on normal protein, like new uh, limited factor immunocoagulation. So the mechanism of uh, rheumatoid factor is antibody antigen uh, reaction resulting to new epitons exposed on the FC region of the antibody resulting to stimulation of the formation of rheumatoid factor. 
resulting to establishment of disease like like rheumatoid arthritis and systemic rupus erythromatosis. So the sharing of these uh, um, epitopes between molecules and uh, and its host, uh, where the molecules mimically. Uh, the, the, the knee. So the antibodies directed against the infectious agent start reacting with a normal self antigen, which triggers autoimmune. So uh, alteration in the antibody uh, antigen processing, like a T cell may fail to develop tolerance to any self antigen simply because it is not efficiently procured. So if it is not efficiently procured, it cannot be able to tolerate uh, the development of antigen. So it would be able to, 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 to develop. Uh, tolerance. So, if uh, sometimes happen to improve the process of autoimmune diseases may trigger. So, this usually happens at the site of inflammation resulting in modified antibody resulting, like for example, in dermatoxicosis and diabetes. So, uh, autoimmune is not due to infectious agents in infection, but result from uh, the dysregulation of host immune response by the microbes. So, in this case, the infections can be autoregulate. The response immune, so the body won't know whether there is something there uh, in it to attack. This may result due to polychromo lymphocyte activation. Uh, that means so many cells are activated, so there there is no uh, selection. Enhanced stimulation of costimulators, alteration of self antibody uh, uh, reactions, and also uh, like in genetic factors, there is uh, the important gene that regulates the development of autoimmune located within the multiple human complex. The multiple human complex have got critical role in maturation of T cells and the induction of, uh, uh, of uh, immune reaction. So multiple uh, human uh, complex number two gene are directly responsible for autoantigen processing and presentation. Uh, there is the structure of antibody binding group will determine if specific antibody will trigger an autoimmune response. So for example, in diabetes mellitus in uh, in dog, which was done like that, and the systemic lupus abnormalities, and also in polyarthritis. So, uh, lymphocyte abnormalities also can result to autoimmune, where the primary abnormalities uh, 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 load uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the T cells and uh, also uh, D cells. Since these are critical cells of autoimmune regression, the, the human. Uh, um, the, the multiple human uh, complex presentation of all antigen peptides to these cells will, will be effective in cases where these cells are abnormal. So abnormalities in uh, lympos, uh, lymphocyte could affect any one of the mechanisms that result to abnormal uh, tolerance. So there's there also, also a failure of central tolerance, like inside the primary lipoid or organism, organ, like there's a failure of positive selections, negative selections, like duration of cell reacting T cells in dimers and apoptosis, failure of the central tolerance starting in autoimmune and diseases. So, the central T cells tolerance uh, 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 follows the classical one and the class two of uh, uh, of uh, uh, multiple human uh, human uh, 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 multiple human uh, complexes, and you can see how uh, this one tolerance uh, comes about. Okay, comes about. So in peripheral tolerance, you can see that the T and the B cells require more than just the region of the antigen specific receptor. Receptor, you can see the 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 the, the, the allergic genes fixed antibody uh, antibody um, presentation uh, uh, cells. Then you can see that uh, there are is those fiber B C D twenty eight. Uh, no response in that one in the antigen C, the number C. So that is how it does uh, that. So there is also poly uh, chromo lymphocyte activation. So there is stimulation of non directed self reactive lymphocyte. These are activated by some activators uh, polychromo B cells activators, bacterial super antigens, and polychromo T cells activator. Uh, so uh, examples of this uh, type of autoimmune diseases are like. Uh, uh, insulin uh, dependent diabetes mellitus because of effect of the pancreas immune uh, auto -drombo, uh, thrombocytopenic papular platelets and hemolytic anemia and blood cells systemic lupus and dermatosis in kidney skin joint and tendons muscles nerves heart valves and GIT Graves disease in the thyroid panaceous anemia and GIT and the mesterialis gravis and of acetyl receptor and the muscle cells oscillative colitis in the GIT and rheumatoid arthritis in the joint and other organs so. 
types of autoimmune is also there is uh, uh, intracellular DNA RNA like cell receptors like there are peptide receptors in the Graves disease, acetylcholine receptors, mesthelium gravis, and insulin receptors in diabetes. So those are cell receptors. In cell membrane, you have red blood cells, hemolytic anemia, platelet, immune thrombocytopenia papilla, and 